Is the future of Liverpool Football Club in trouble? Well, maybe not. With Arnie Slots now confirmed, here we go as the next Liverpool manager. Will he be able to lead the Reds to new heights after Jurgen Klopp bottled the quadruple? I answered that question and more, and I'm not going to lie to you, lads. It was insane. We all know what's happened last time. A bold manager from the Eredivisie came in to join a big Premier League team. So I'm sure Liverpool fans will be hoping it works out a little differently this time. The deal is now done. Arnie Slots' first signing for Liverpool. Liverpool this season is the left-footed centre-back David Hanko. He fills a vital role that Liverpool have really been needed in that left-footed centre-back department. He can also play left-back as well, so he's a good rotation option for Andrew Robertson. And he's been bought in from Arnie Slot's former club, Feyenoord, for £34 million. Signing number two has now been completed, and it is Lucharel Gertruda, also from Feyenoord. Slot doesn't seem too interested in reuniting with his former player, but Gertruda here is a right-back who can also fill in a number six role in midfield, which fits Slot's system perfectly, unsurprisingly, and is bought in from Feyenoord for £27.5 million. Pounds. Another good deal and another player Slot is already familiar with who he knows works with his system. And believe it or not, but the third signing made by Arnie Slot for Liverpool is another former Feyenoord player of his, Quentin Timber, the brother of Arsenal's Urian Timber. He's been bought in for a cool £25 million, another good deal. And as we can see as well, Newcastle have bought Thiago for 20.7 million. So that's the first outgoing that Arnie Slot has let go through. What? Nah, I never knew that. And now, as you can see, Arnie Slot's first true big signing. He actually cares to show up to welcome them this time. It is Joshua Kimmich from Bayern Munich. He's been bought into Liverpool to fill in a very vital role. And the ways he can play and the positions he can play fit Arnie Slot's system perfectly. Since he only had one year left on his contract, at Bayern. He's been bought in for 66 and a half million. Another outgoing has now registered. As you can see, Joel Matip slowly be walked out of the club. He's gone to Fiorentina for 12.6 million pounds. A good bit of money in since he wouldn't be used at all with the new signings that Slot has made. And there we go. The other one's popped up as well. Wataru Endo has gone to Aston Villa for 17 million. <laughs> We do not care. The opening summer transfer window has now come to an end and we can see Arnie Slot's final 11 and setup that he's done for Liverpool here. In goal, he's obviously kept Alisson and his back four will be Andrew Robertson, Hanko, Van Dijk and Joshua Kimmich at right back. In the midfield, he's got Trent Alexander-Arnold and Alexis McAllister with Soboschlai there at the top. Now you might be saying this is a bit stupid, having Trent here at centre mid and Joshua Kimmich down there at right back. However, in Arnie Slot's system, the way he has it set up, the right back and right centre mid, what places a lot. I've stuck Kimmich at right back because I believe he's more defensively um, competent than Trent is. Then the front three is Luis Diaz, then Mohamed Salah on the right, and then leading the line is the one, the only, my goat. Darwin, Darwin Nunez. I'm sure recently a lot of Liverpool fans will be saying, Get this man the hell out of here! He hasn't been particularly on form recently, I'll admit, but he should work well with the system. His pace should be a very good asset, and even if he isn't scoring, he should be making space for players like Soboschlai and Diaz to bring other people into the game and get goals themselves, maybe. <laughs> As Inter Milan make back-to-back -back Champions League finals, Arnie Slot's Liverpool has made it as well. Inter Milan went out to Manchester City last time around. Now they face a different English giant and will be hoping to continue their streak of lost finals. Now, interestingly, Trent Alexander-Arnold has actually kind of fallen out of the squad and Gertruda has replaced him. Darwizzi has a chance and it's a brilliant save. Liverpool have started very much playing how Arnie Slot want them to across the league and it has has paid off. We're now 1-0 down. The result of last year's UCL final flipped on its head, but it's not over yet. Diaz with some lovely skills through to Darwizzi. Darwizzi dribbles through and he's gonna hit one. Darwizzi scores for Liverpool. This is absolutely shaping up to be an exciting final. That was awkward in the box. It's claimed by Allison. It's looking shaky for slot side right now. Obviously, when you get to a UCL final, sometimes tactics can go out of the window. It comes down to the players. How much do they want it? Luis Diaz wants it a lot. He cuts in. He's going to look to curl one, and it's just over the bar. It wasn't a bad effort from the Colombian man, but uh, maybe it was quite a bad effort. Juan Cordrado is hanging up the boots. I'm going to be honest, mate. I don't care. I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. If I speak, I 
am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. Salah has won it back. He slotted it through to Nunez. Nunez is going to slot it in for Sabozhlai, who shoots and scores. Injured Sabozhlai makes it 2-1. He's scored himself a brace, and it's looking like this is his game. What a pass that was from Darwin Nunez. Sabozhlai, unfortunately, does have to come off now because of his injury. Harvey Elliott will be replacing him. Hopefully, he can take a page from his book. A very good free kick set up here for Inter. They did well in the last set piece, but Alisson comes out to claim this one. Thank God. And the referee blows the final whistle. Arnie slotted his first season at Liverpool, has won them the UCL. Getting past opponents like PSG and even the infamous Real Madrid, who Jurgen Klopp never had much luck against. He's proven that he truly deserves this managerial post. And Van Dijk lifts the trophy to give Arnie Slot a UCL win in his first season at Liverpool. Match. Mohamed Salah had 40 goals and 15 assists in 60 matches, having an absolutely incredible incredible season under Arnie Slot, and Darwizzi only gets 18 goals and 8 assists in 59 matches. Maybe the striker needs to be improved next time around. I don't know what Arnie Slot's going to think about this. Personally, I would never get rid of Darwizzi. Darwizzi, you are my lord. Darwizzi, you are my goat. Winner of the FA Cup quarterfinals in the Carabao Cup. Winner of the UEFA Champions League. But unfortunately, and what is probably pulling down his rating with the board right now, is his fourth place finish in the Premier League. I can show you here how close it actually was. Spurs <laughs> won the Premier League. <gasps> I just wanted to point out the fact that um, uh, Nottingham Forest have put in an 85 million pound bid from Mohamed Salah. I'm sorry to break it to your lens, but it's not going to happen. The first departure of season two under Arnie Slot has just been completed. And as you can see, it's Diogo Jota. I'm not sure how Liverpool fans will feel about this one, but he didn't get a lot of playing time last season. So he actually submitted a transfer request, which means that he had to go. And for 70 million, he has moved to Tottenham Hotspur. Topspur? You never heard of them? No? <laughs> Departure number two is walking out the door, and again, it's another big one. Trent Alexander-Arnold is leaving Liverpool. It was a tight race between Barcelona and Real Madrid to secure his signature, but in the end, Real Madrid did get it for 88.6 million. And since Trent wasn't getting much playing time last season and didn't impress a lot, and with only one year remaining on his contract, it was decided it was his time to go. It's time to go! Arnie Slot's first signing of season two with Liverpool has already been completed, and it is Giovanni Reina from Borussia Dortmund. Clearly, he's uh, not that bothered, though. He's immediately leaving after seeing him once. So for 29 million from Borussia Dortmund, Giovanni Reina comes in. Hopefully, he should be a good backup and rotation when he's needed. And swift business conducted all within one meeting with Borussia Dortmund. Julian Brandt will also be joining Liverpool. Brought in for a very solid price of 55 million from Dortmund. Arnie Slot is still fitting with his great financial management abilities at Liverpool. And here he is, the big one, the one we've all been waiting for. Louise Opienda from RB Leipzig is going to be joining Liverpool, possibly as the new starting striker. Nunez hasn't performed amazingly last season, but I'm not going to get rid of him, so Opienda should provide some good competition and maybe even take Nunez's starting place if he does well. For 77 million in from Leipzig, Isaac was also on the list, but Newcastle wanted too much for him, so Opienda was the next best option. 2,000 years later. The season is now now over and the results this time around were very interesting. Mohamed Salah here got 35 goals and 5 assists in 58 appearances. Luis Diaz was second best with 26 goals and 6 assists in 56 appearances. And Luis Opienda got only 12 goals and 5 assists in 40 appearances. Darwin Nunez was all the way down here with 7 goals and 2 assists in 30 appearances. To be fair, as you can see, the match ratings are quite high. An average of 7.23 for Opienda and an average of 7.02 for Nunez. Julian Brandt replaced Sabozhnai in the starting 11. He had 11 goals and 12 assists in his 51 appearances. And McAllister has truly grown into an amazing number 8. 11 goals and 17 assists in the 58 games that he played across the season. And for the final results, as you can see, Liverpool got second in the Premier League, so they still haven't won it. They won the Community Shield and the Super Cup, the two pre-season tournaments. And they did win the FA Cup as well. This time, the performance in the Premier League was a lot better. 87 points in total, but Man City ran away with it, so Liverpool Pool only got second. We've seen that story a million times, and unfortunately, I think it is going to cost Arnie Slot his job here. No, actually, for the first time I think I've ever seen, EA has done something kind of smart and actually decided to let Arnie Slot have another shot. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave Mr. Uh, Arnold Sloop here by himself. His third season in charge will be a mystery to all of us. We'll just never know what happens, I guess.